Hi, I'm Diego Gonzalez from AirbrushMonsters.com, and today I want to go over spray patterns. Um, spray patterns specifically for t-shirts. Like, how is it supposed to look? And even uh, a, a more uh, question that a lot of us don't think about, how is it supposed to sound? Because if you're doing airbrush t-shirts for a while, you get good enough, you can actually like listen to how your airbrush runs and know if it's working well or not working well. So, the spray pattern is very important. So, here's a double action airbrush. And if you're running about 45 to 50 PSI, your gun should be shooting a wide spray pattern like that. This is water, don't worry. So it's shooting a wide spray pattern like that. Here's a little close up. If it's not shooting that kind of wide spray pattern all the way back here, then something's clogged in your gun. Usually there's two things that are main issues. Um, this kind of like troubleshooting thing. Uh, there's a little hole on top of your uh, um, of your cap. Make sure that's unplugged because air comes in there and it internally mixes and allows the paint to spray out really well. And another one could be the tip of your airbrush is like dirty. So there's a cap on here. You just kind of screw it off, and you can see you expose your tip of your gun. And usually there's like stuff on it. You have to like pick it off and take it off. And you actually have to do that frequently because these are um. Most textile paints, usually almost all of them are water-based. That means water-based dries super fast, like within minutes to even seconds. So it's kind of simple. You have to kind of do it over and over again. Um, a good tip is to always, when you're painting, kind of leave the air flowing. Like keep on flowing because it's always pushing out paint off of the tip so it doesn't really stay there and dry for a while. So for a long time, I was kind of painting like, kind of like that and didn't really, you know, leave the button down. But it's causing my like, you know, paint guns to kind of clog up faster and time is money and it's a big thing. So spray pan your guns, if you're trying to do t-shirts and you want to do really cool like t-shirts that have a high PSI and if you're running 45 to 50, your spray pan should look like that all the time. And if it's not like that all the time, if it's kind of like weak and it sounds like, you know, a little, little hiss, then you got to kind of crank up the pressure or just kind of adjust your gun and fix it. Um, it's kind of like a little quick tutorial demo on spray patterns, but make sure it's like spray. Really strong. All right. Thanks guys.